Hi, it's Noel McKeegan from Gizmag with you at the Renault stand at day one of this year's uh, IAA or Frankfurt Motor Show. And Renault, like um, many other companies here, are showing some electric vehicles. Uh, these four are quite radical concepts, uh, starting with the Kangoo ZE concept in front of me and with a couple of very radical examples in the middle including the Twizy uh, which is a very interesting looking vehicle which we'll have a bit more detailed look at later on uh, so let's go and have a closer look at these vehicles okay let's first have a look at the um, the most conventional looking of the concepts that Renault is showing in its ZE range uh, here at Frankfurt and that's the Kangoo which um, many tradesmen in this part of the world will be familiar with uh, in its uh, internal combustion engine form. It's uh, already a popular car. Um, and this version, the electric version, runs a 70 kilowatt motor uh, which produces 226 newton metres of torque, has a range of around 160 kilometres and is electronically limited to a top speed of 130 kilometres an hour. Renault says through a standard outlet you're looking at around four to eight hours to charge this battery system. Um, and although it's got quite conventional looks uh, from the exterior, there are a number of interesting technological features that they've thrown in to make this electrical car, electric car more viable. Um, the first thing to note is the use of heat reflective paint, uh, which helps control the temperature inside obviously. And that's uh, backed up by solar panels on the roof, which we can't see from this angle. But those solar panels are used for the climate control system. And the third aspect of that climate control system is the insulation they're using, which is basically a double skinned layer. So there's a layer of air in the walls to help insulate the vehicle. Um, the other thing the solar panels are used for is to drive these small cameras on the side, which replace the mirrors. Uh, obviously that helps the drag coefficient and makes the whole car more energy efficient. Uh, yeah, these tiny cameras you can see here coming around now, they're driven by the solar panels. They um, not only uh, help keep the drag low, but they actually give the driver a better view of what's going on behind than conventional mirrors do. Um, the other thing to note is the, the bumpers here, they're actually made of a, a special gel so that the car is somewhat pedestrian friendly as well. Um, it's a shock absorbent gel, so if you have little bumps in city traffic, uh, less damage to other vehicles and this car um, the other interesting thing to note as it turns around is the charge indicator on the door, this gel strip. What that means is basically it's showing you, like your mobile phone bars, how much charge is left in the car so before you even get in the vehicle you can see, you can see that strip running along there now. That will give you an idea of how much juice is left in the battery. So that's about it for the Kangoo. Let's go and have a look at some of these other concepts. Next we'll have a, a closer look at the Twizy, which is a a 21st century looking two-seater concept that um, it's only around just over two meters long so it hasn't got a much bigger footprint than a, a scooter it weighs 420 kilograms and it puts out 15 kilowatts and 70 newton meters of torque the uh, lithium ion is again used for the battery system and it takes around three and a half hours to charge uh, through a normal power outlet according to Renault um, when you see it spin around again, you'll um, notice the Renault logo, which is front and rear. The front one is actually the cover for the charging point. So that's the plug-in point for a standard uh, household outlet. And uh, that um, three and a half hour charging time is a lot quicker than most electric vehicles. Um, what range you get out of this car? Around 100 kilometres, uh, according to Renault. And the top speed is 75 kilometres an hour. So it's obviously not the... Uh, the sort of thing you take on the Autobahn, but it's, uh, it's a very useful car around town. It's got a tiny turning circle of around three metres, so really it's, it's almost more like a motorcycle than a bike. Uh, inside you see the two seats, one behind the other. The access to the rear is actually through uh, moving the front seat, which is attached to the roof, and you can also see as it spins around the uh, the unusual honeycomb array which is headlights it's also used to communicate messages like hi outside the vehicle um, and it's also the indicator system as well uh, the wheels are completely covered which in, improves the uh, drag coefficient and uh, finally uh, another nice little design touch is the 
the charge indicator on the inside of the car which is actually shaped like a lotus flower and as the charge goes down the petals drop off the flower. Uh, probably the pick I think of the um, of the concepts on show from Renault uh, mainly because and it's something we've been proponents of for a long time at Gizmag it uh, it encourages single or, or double person transport um, which is a no-brainer in terms of saving energy and reducing congestion in cities. Okay next uh, we'll look at the third of Renault's concepts the uh, four-seater Zoe concept uh, very interesting looking vehicle this one marked by the the scissor doors front and rear and also the um, the honeycomb solar panels on the roof um, like the Kangoo we looked at earlier the solar panels help uh, run the climate change system but just to run through the specs on this one first it's got a 54 kilowatt motor produces 225 newton meters of torque and uh, Renault say it'll do 160 kilometers on a single charge its top speed is 140 kilometers an hour and uh, one fairly tidy stat is that apparently it will go from standing start to 100 kilometers an hour in around 6.7 seconds um, also like the kangoo we looked at gel has been used at the front and rear um, for the bumpers um, and there's also interesting honeycomb headlighting um, once again the conventional mirrors are gone replaced by low energy cameras and um, there is also a retractable fin at the rear of the car which uh, pops out to increase down forces at uh, around 90 kilometers an hour um, as the car spins you'll see that fin shortly it's a strip along the back which actually doubles as a brake light um, there's three options for charging this car uh, four to eight hours through a standard household outlet there's also a quick charge high voltage option uh, which takes around 20 minutes and Renault are also looking at doing a battery swap system so you drive in swap the battery over and keep going again with a full battery uh, it's just coming around to the back now so we can take a closer look at this retractable fin which is the red strip lighting up there this part always also um, folds out so there is a, a small storage space in the back there um, on the inside of the car there looks to be quite a bit of space the seat design is certainly very interesting um, they almost look like something you would float down a river on the the pads with uh, separate backs and one other interesting thing to note is that not only is there a temperature control system uh, which is hooked up to the solar panels but there's also a, a hydration and aroma control system so as you're driving along in this one you can choose which pleasant smells you'd like to uh, like to indulge in so that's the Zoe concept one to go let's go and have a look the last installment in Renault's um, zero emissions uh, concept range that they're showing here at Frankfurt is the fluence now this car has uh, many of the uh, technologies we've seen in the previous three but they've wrapped it in a package that looks a lot like a, a fairly conventional modern mid-size sedan um, again there's solar panels on the roof um, keyless entry and the motor is emitting 70 kilowatts and 225 newton meters of torque the range is around 160 kilometers an hour um, and as I said most of it is very similar to the cars we've just discussed what I like about this car is what looks like a very comfortable interior you can see touch screens here on the door um, there's also the controls are all on a button on the central console so that would be stop and start there's obviously no need for gear shifting in these cars you've also got um, tiny cameras on the side once again they've used the camera setup and the other interesting feature design as well as um, practical application are these prismatic lights at the front which look good and also have that prism structure to concentrate the lighting light beams so that's it uh, from gizmag.com here at the Renault stand at Frankfurt um, uh, we're very impressed and we'd love to see some of these vehicles make it onto the road